Morning YouTube, welcome to another very windy and cold morning on the Lofton Islands. Um, now I've come back to Hamoy, but I've come to photograph a slightly different composition. Um, the bridge is up here, um, where nearly all of the shots you'll see will be taken from. Um, but I've come down the rocks here and I've come to this composition, I think it's going to work quite nicely, involving these two um, kind of houses or fishermen's cottages, looking across to the mountain which is meant to be here. Um, but it's so um, hazy and misty at the moment, or um, just bad visibility that you can't even see it. Um, it's snowing quite a lot at the moment. It's very, very cold. And I quite like the fact it's snowing because um, yesterday we had an absolutely horrendous day. Um, the morning went quite nice. I managed to get a vlog out in the, the morning in one of the beaches. Um, I think it's Utra Clive, it's called. Um, but the rest of the day it just rained and rained and rained and it was so heavy and it was quite warm down the Lofton Islands yesterday it was about five degrees so nearly all that rain washed a lot of the snow off um, you still had it on the high peaks um, but the rest of the mountain was kind of washed away a bit and um, didn't look quite as nice as it did um, when I first arrived here I think it's snow most of the night because there's a lot of snow on the roads this morning and um, hopefully that's going to kind of improve some of the scene also, um, as it's snowing today, I'm going to be trying to get in a few more just kind of isolated huts and kind of shots around um, Sakurai and um, Hanoi and Rain or Rhine and places like that all around the, the few villages here. Unfortunately, um, yesterday I had a major issue. I was coming back from photographing a um, small hut by a beach. It's quite a, a popular, famous one. Um, I can't remember the name of where it is. I'll put it up. But... Um, I dropped my tripod on the way back and annoyingly, because um, it's so cold at the moment over here, I think the metal was a bit brittle and it sheared off the bolt that goes um, through the, um, the ball head. It meant the plates came off. Now I went to a really, really nice um, hardware store yesterday in Lecnoy, is it? Lecnay. Um, and the people in there are so so helpful and so friendly they went and got some tools and tried to get the bolt out with um some big kind of pipe grips in the end i had a massive stilton on it before if anyone's seen a stilton they're huge you, it's about 14 inches long this thing and it even that would not undo it so that bolt's been in that tripod for three years it gets rained on every time or not every time a lot of the time i use it um, and I think it's just got water in and seized in solid. So I can't actually get the bolt out here. If I was at home, I probably could. Um, but annoyingly, it means my um, tripod is knackered at the moment. I tried gluing it because I do have some Gorilla Glue. I can't seem to get it to set though in the um, uh, in the bottom of the ball head where it's actually kind of mating really. It's not working very well at all. It might be because it's so cold over here. I'm not sure, um, but Unfortunately, at the moment, my tripod <laughs> head looks very much like um, that with no plate on the top of it. What I have to do is, luckily, um, if I hold the top of the camera down and be very careful, uh, I can kind of hold it still enough to get a sharp one second image. And I'm not going to be doing anything um, more than that where I am now. And as the sun comes up, that's going to get even better. Um, so really, really annoying. There are two free camera shops in Lufton Island, so I'm probably going to have to go and buy a new ball head, annoyingly. Um, I did quite like the one I had, to be honest. It worked quite well. But such is life. Um, I'm going to be doing that after this shot, probably get over there, see what I can pick up. Um, the tripod is, is saveable, so it just needs a new ball head. So um, it's just one of those things, I suppose. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm just going to be waiting around now. I'm hoping the clarity in this area is going to improve. You can just slightly see the bottom of that mountain coming out now. Um, as that will improve, we should get some really nice images here. It's just a waiting game now, see what happens. Um, and I'll catch up with you in whenever the weather clears up. Thank you. 
Right guys, the, <clears throat> the clarity is actually increased enough now to take some images. I don't mind if um, the top of it's a bit um, kind of misty and hazy or kind of, I don't know, you just can't see it. Um, we do have some blue sky right above it here now, right above my head, and I think that is going to only improve. Although I don't want it really to be like that. I want this kind of surreal kind of um, soft look to it. Right, let's get the camera out of the bag. Now, I'm not using any filters. Um, I might try them at any minute. It's going to be a bit difficult though. Um, partly because it's quite a well balanced scene and partly because um, it's snowing towards me so they're just going to get covered in rain. I'm shooting again with my 24-105 lens hood on the 16-35mm. I'm shooting fully zoomed in on this 35mm. In fact I could really go to my 24-105 and go probably to 45mm or something like that to get the shot. Um, but I think cropping is going to probably work enough. Um, as you can see I've already got the um, base on the bottom of the camera because the tripod's broken. Um, it's all I have to do really with it. It's a bit of a nightmare. Um, it'll get me through this shot is just simply line it up with the lugs. Leave the ball head loose. It is a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. And then just pretty much hold it as steady as I can. If you put some pressure on the tripod when you do it, it does keep it still as long as there's no wind. Um, I'm shooting on an ISO of 100, although I'm going to increase it up. No, actually, I'm going to keep it the same, actually. Um, I'm shooting slightly overexposed, um, simply because I want to blow out that sky slightly. And I'm shooting with that. That's an F13. That's giving me an eighth of a second. Like I said, that is fully zoomed in, really, and it's not quite enough, but... Um, I think it will work. In fact, saying that, I'll probably get my 24-105 uh, out of the bag in a second. Just set up a few more of these shots. It's quite a nice, simple shot, and it is taking in quite a bit of detail in the landscape below it, which is quite nice. We do have a lot of strong light for some reason coming off the, um, the middle of the scene there, coming off the actual... Um, edge of the mountain which is looking quite nice again it's hard for you to see from where you are but it is a bit sticky so when I lift it off it does try and um, stick on there still now like I said there's not much definition in the actual um, pictures of these I'll try to show them off to you you have to forgive Um, but yeah, they should come out quite nice in post. Forgive me because there is water on the lens. I can see it now, so you're probably going to have a bit of a bad quality video on this. Um, yeah, I'm going to get the other lens on. Now I'm going to wait around for a little bit longer to see if the clarity improves. Um, sorry, it's a bit hard to vlog this one without um, uh, without a proper tripod. Uh, but I just wanted to do it because uh, it's quite a simple shot, but it's something that shows off a different um, kind of location if you come to Hanoi. I've been here twice now, um, one of the first days I shot from the bridge, which you should have seen that one, that was I think probably the first or second video that went out, um, but I've not seen anyone the whole time I've been here down at this location trying to shoot this, you get a few people a bit further up from me, but if you come down you can get quite a nice look um, with the barn and the stilts below it and the kind of... Um, um, quite a nice look. Also, by coming lower down, you get the the bomb kind of lower down, shooting up towards the mountain a bit more. So you can include that as well. And um, yeah, it's just quite nice to show it off, really. Um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll get the um, 24 to 1 in 5 on now, um, which is better in a way because the um, actually lens hood does fit on it properly, and um, set up some shots and uh, see what we can get with that lens.